the stars come to shine when it's dark from so far away show us where we are what makes the sun go to sleep every night and what's it dreaming of i wonder How come the sky sometimes hides behind the clouds? Maybe it's just like me, a little bit scared of heights. Why does the rain always keep on pouring down? Hi everyone! When it's Welcome! Welcome back! Where have we been? <laughs> well, today we have gone and done our exercise. Um, I'm down by um, the New Newcastle Beach, Newcastle mm -hmm. kind of Bards, Bards area. I've done a 6k run, Erica does some exercise in the pool. We've really been enjoying doing that, haven't we? We have. It's literally been the best thing about January, <laughs> to be honest. Yes. Like, we've not done much, but we've been going there most days, and it's just such a nice way to start your day. And with Dan starting a bit later, we just have time to do that in, in the, the morning. morning. And before it makes work. such a difference, because I just love the water, like being near it, being in it, <laughs> whatever. So even just walking along there is so much nicer than around our well, suburb. You know, our suburb, which is fine. But <laughs> so what else have we been up to in January? We had a bit of a break, um, which was nice to have a break from filming. But mm -hmm. now we are back. I have become obsessed with Wordle, like the rest of <laughs> the world, I think. Um, every yeah. morning it's our... Well, we haven't of, done it yet. We haven't done it yet. And then, now there has to be like... We have to block A from <laughs> each other. Because I started doing it by myself for a little while and then Erica's into it and we've got groups where we share our results and I all know. of that. Um, but it's fun and it's kind of part of our start of the day. Like we've got our drinks here. So we'll sit down, have our drinks, do the wordle. I will have breakfast usually. Um... <laughs> Yeah, but other than that, we've both avoided COVID so far, unlike all of my family, some of Erica's family. Mm. Um, but at the moment, we're just pretty much laying as low as possible, yeah, exercising, good. work and home. Yeah, and just going to the shops if we need to, obviously. But yeah, it's just, I don't know, it doesn't feel like we should be eating out and doing all these things. I don't, I don't know if we're being weird about it, but... You just got to do what's right for you. Yeah, and so far, fingers crossed, we've remained COVID free, which is a rarity at the moment. So today we are just going to bring you along for our, it's a public holiday here today, so the middle of the week, it feels yeah, it's very a strange. A Wednesday public holiday. So yeah. It's nice. It is day nice. off, but it's not like it's like a long weekend or anything. No. Um, so yeah, we thought we'd bring you along. We're going to do some cooking on the grill rotisserie thing for mm -hmm. dinner yeah. um other than that we don't have a no, lot planned I thought maybe we will attack that little garden bed that we've been <laughs> putting off doing um i just marinated some chicken because we're going to do it on these skewers and then it's on like a grill over charcoal so i just did like i just sliced up some chicken thighs which i managed to get for more worse um with like some Mediterranean herbs, lemon juice and olive oil. So that will be ready for dinner tonight, which is exciting. And we'll also do some veggie skewers on there as well, because that seems to work quite well. Yes. In regards to our back room renovation, uh, we still don't have the... The final touches, yeah. And our, yeah, so it's still not quite finished. Like it's been awesome. We've loved having obviously our laundry back and we're really happy with how it's all turned out but it's still not quite finished and it looks like next week maybe the screens will be coming and we'll be getting the finishing touches done and then hopefully we will show you yeah hopefully not long after that they'll actually start work on, the on our backyard and building our deck and everything which we're super excited to have somewhere nice to see the outside okay so i just need to tackle all of that jungle space 
Um, we've just been working on clearing it out um, before the work starts out here. I'll just flip this around. So we have done this was all very similar to this um, and some parts have grown back because we did it before Christmas but um, we're just trying to minimize the amount that they need to get rid of when they do the demolition of the backyard so I'm just going to see if I can get a little bit more of this section done this morning it's a real jungle in here Really? <laughs> Get that real big. What is that? Yeah. Looks like a tobacco plant. <laughs> I don't know what yeah, that one. Yeah, that's what I mean. That one. Get that, that one's in that bed. <laughs> I want to do multiple beds here. Whoa. That is a big one. Do you not think I'm getting anywhere, Erica? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're not going to be able to move the bit. Always. It's usually the way it works. I don't think I'll get that big one. No, I don't think so. Looks green bin. I mean, though. that has been a significant change. Thank yes. you. Very good. Very impressive. I am just prepping my first meal of the day. We've got some leftover sausages and I've cooked up a big batch of braised cabbage which I just kind of pop in the pan, pan fry this all up, fry a couple of eggs and that will be my breakfast, lunch, it's 12.30 so um, I'm pretty hungry now. Um, I've also got some romesco sauce I'll add to it and that will be my first meal of the day I guess. <laughs> I just had a coffee. I'll probably have some eggs a bit later on. But yeah, Dan is very proficient at getting her own breakfast these days. You get it every day. Every day and it's the same thing. Time. <laughs> I usually just do, it's always fried eggs. I try and have some form of vegetable, so it might be mushrooms, braised cabbage. Usually mushrooms or cabbage or like tomatoes. Yeah, so sometimes I'll even tomatoes. just cut up those tomatoes and mm -hmm. sprinkle some salt on them. Um, and then some form of meat like bacon. I've been going mad for prosciutto baked in the oven. That's a Flav City Bobby thing <laughs> that I've adopted. Um, or leftover meat like these sausages were leftover so I'll just fry those up and yeah yeah and that's usually the way I just base it around the fried eggs and whatever I've got in the fridge kind of thing I've been on a boiled egg yeah you've like, loved this boiled. I've never this eaten year this whole egg. year <laughs> this whole year I've been on a boiled egg I love doing them in the thermomix it's easy because I can't like forget about them or don't see them boil you literally put cold like you put water out of the tap eggs out of the fridge and choose how you want them and then it dings you when they're ready and I like having them like freshly cooked with just like some um everything but the bagel sort of seasoning actually mingle now have for people in Australia hasn't always been easy to get it but mingle seasonings came out with this they call it whoops we forgot the bagel um which is really cool um, you can only get it online though, but yeah, this on like freshly boiled eggs. So we have just got the coals on to kind of, um, I don't know the technical terms, but like cook, like kind of heat right down so that they're just like burning embers, not like flames. So it'll probably take a little while. Um, but I thought 
it would be a good time for Dan. Anyone who's watched our channel for any time probably knows Dan loves challenges and things. So, of course, she has us on a 2022 kind of challenge. And we have a new movie challenge. Because, um, you know, last year's was a flop. 2022, 20, 2020, we did well with the movie challenge. But I'll, I'll let Dan explain it all to you. So if you've watched our videos before, you will know that I like a challenge. I just said that. <laughs> <laughs> in. I'm like, if anyone's watched any of our videos, Dan loves challenges. I love challenges. And I wanted to incorporate some kind of... I don't know what the term is, like wellness, wellness, body hacking kind of stuff into this year. So I've made a list of a few things that I want to do and I'm planning to do them one thing a month. And whether we continue to do it, we'll make the decision at the end of the month. This month has been grounding. So we've been walking down to our oval with our thongs on, just take our thongs off and walk on the grass for about five minutes, maybe a little bit more. Every, we've done it every single day in January so far, and I'm pretty impressed that we've done it. And by thongs, we mean like flip, flip flops, flops sandals, yeah. We're not walking jandals. around in our. <laughs> we'll strings. take you with us tonight. It's not that risque, we promise. The other thing that we've been doing, and we've done this for a few years now, and it hasn't always stuck right to the end of the year, but we're doing movies again. This list is from a friend of mine who's a bit of a movie. I don't know whether movie I'd say. Buff. Would yeah. you say Buck? He's like a DVD he loves movies. collector. Yeah, he loves movies. And this is his top 50 list. We've got a little bit more on there because there's some that we won't watch, like Carrie and stuff like that. We won't scary watch ones, scary ones. Scary. Um, last week we watched Total Recall. Would not recommend. It has not aged well, <laughs> in my opinion. It was so funny to watch what they thought the future was going to be like. Because they went forward to 2048, which really isn't that, you know, far no. away from now. And um, it started in 1992 and it's like, really? Like, they were wearing the same clothes as 1992, <laughs> oh, that was funny. but they had like weird cars that are nothing like the cars that we have now. So anyway, it was funny. Um, yeah, so this weekend we'll watch Babe, I think. But yeah, we're looking forward to this list because it's not just like critically acclaimed movies yeah. it's kind of more popular type movies hey scouty <laughs> and with your kind of wellness one so this month we're doing grounding, grounding. what were your, some of your ideas for the other month? cold showers using the sauna um oh erica bought me this torture mat <laughs> i should show you let me get it so for christmas erica bought me this what is it called shiitake shakti shakti i'm shakti calling it the torture mat because it's little sharp plastic yeah, it's things it's very 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 oh, sharp God, it's so sharp when you feel it with your fingers it feels like it could cut literally you. a bed of nails we have laid on it once and it's really not that bad no. so we will incorporate this into kind of our bedtime routine for a month um Fasting was one of them mm -hmm. on there. They, I came up with 12. Focusing on sleep, kind of putting the electronics down mm -hmm. early and kind of that kind of thing. There was a, quite a few on my list. But if you have any suggestions, pop them in the comments below because I'm always open to um, suggestions. And if I like it, I'll put it on. If I don't like it, I won't do it. <laughs> and we've done well with the grounding one. I really enjoyed it. And I think because of the time of year, it's just so nice, like 7.30, 8 o'clock, kind of it's going been really for a nice. walk in the evening after dinner. So next month, have you decided? Cold showers. Cold showers. Well, it's February. It's yeah. summer. We may yeah. as well do them now. Yeah. I'm thinking two minutes. Two minutes? That's what we were doing before. Okay. Yeah. You don't have to. Well, I do. It's the, it's the 2022 challenge. <laughs> Scout, do you want to go on the Shakti map? No. Also, for the people who followed along last year with my last year challenge, which was the 21 kilometer run, which I achieved, which still blows my mind that I did I it. I know, me too. My, well fo my focus for the running this year is consistency and being able to run 
a set amount every single week and I've been doing two lots of 3k and one 6k a week for four weeks now and I just want to keep that rolling as yeah. much as I can so that it becomes a consistent habit not just like because before it was just the goal was to get the 21 done and yeah. I was done um, whereas the it's more about being a runner than running 21k if that makes sense so we have made up the vegetable skewers so it's just zucchini capsicum onion and a bit of olive oil and seasoning and this is the chicken that I marinated this morning so it's just like a bit of Mediterranean seasoning lemon juice olive oil and I am just it's just chicken thighs that I cut into strips and then I'm kind of just poking it onto the big jumbo it skewers on. and kind of I just like fold it over so that there's like not too many hanging downy bits yeah because they get a bit burnt and then you have to leave a bit of a gap at each end so you can see it kind of clicks into the rotisserie thing on either end and then the motors just turn it around so one done I'm using our servery window we had the slide gem along no she, <laughs> she was already <laughs> along no i mean i slid her oh, along did you? the towel <laughs> <laughs> How do you think she moved? <laughs> Obviously at some point we'll have an actual finished deck area so it won't be so high because the deck will be up to kind of level with the floor. Okay. Here we go. Ooh. Chicken looks so good. What are you doing, Dan? Just moving the veggies in a little bit to get them. Just give them a little bit of a touch up. They look pretty good though. Yeah, they do. They won't need too much longer, maybe five minutes. How good does the chicken look though? Smells really yummy. Look how good it all looks. Yum, it smells so good. I'm so ready for dinner. Let's have dinner. <laughs> how good was the dinner? Oh, so, so good. <laughs> it was delicious. We yeah. are just setting up for our last live with the Clean mm -hmm. and Simple Reset. We do a live every week within that group as when we're running the reset. So we're just getting set up for that. That goes from seven, usually to about 20 yeah, past. Hour, so yeah, it's depends on who's hour. there. Yep. Might be quiet tonight because it's a public holiday. So yes. it might not be the normal amount of people that we would have. And then after that, we'll take you to our grounding. <laughs> Very exciting. Okay. It's a beautiful night. It's a really this nice. This is what has been most nights. It's mm. been beautiful. Nice, nice breeze. Cool, but like, yeah, just <laughs> lovely. The light is lovely. Yes, we survey all the stuff around our neighborhood. There's like a little I was just like, what bike is buggy. <laughs> anyway, the live went really well. It was good catching up with everybody. And now we're walking down, down to, to the, the end of our street to the oval to do our grounding. Ground. So every night after our walk, I have been really enjoying having an iced tea. So I've been making it, you know, ahead the next for the next day. These um, Red Seal brand I really like. It can be brewed hot or cold. Um, the way I make it generally is just two sachets in this with cold water and keep it in the fridge overnight. And this is the blood orange one. We've been having, we had the lemon, the lime, we had mango and pineapple. That's my favorite. I think I yeah. like the mango and pineapple. Um, we also have some form of berry one as well. They're not sweet. They're not they sweet at all. They just have like a flavor. 
yeah, like a fruity kind of flavour. I mean, it looks like red cordial. It's not. It's not sweet you're not, at you're all. You're not fooling kids with it. This. It tastes <laughs> like tea. Yeah. Um, but we just put a couple of ice cubes in there and we just have that as our evening drink before we go to bed while we're just kind of hanging out and watching TV. So hopefully you have enjoyed coming along for our first vlog of 2022. Enjoyed me cooking on the grill and all the things we did today. Um, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe for new videos coming in 2022. Thanks for watching. Bye.